closer to fine. So A to start with, our chords are A, uh, F sharp minor, D, and E. Second fret, so uh, second fret of the D string, the G string, and the B string. We're going to cover that and play your A open. And the strum can be something like one uh, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. So that's a nice count, I think, for this. It's similar to what they do. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Now, D, you can play here, or you can play it here on the neck on the seventh fret, uh, covering the, uh, the the D string, the G string, and the B string. And I do that with one finger so that I can get up to the E easily. And I do my first finger, and to make that cool little uh, little uh, riff there, so I've got my finger covering the ninth fret, put my ring finger on the 10th fret of the B string, lift it up, and put it back down on the 11th fret of the G string, and lift it back up. So you should be able to do this comfortably. And you can use your second, or rather your third finger and your pinky finger for that. So A, F, sh F sharp, and you can play your F sharp uh, in a short way, truncated way too. So we're still covering the uh, the G string and the B string with first finger, but our ring finger is on the fourth fret of the D string, and that gives us enough of an F to get by. So A, F sharp, D, that is first finger on the A string on the fifth fret, and third finger on the seventh fret of the G, of uh, the D, the G, and the B, or you could just play one finger on the D, the G, and the B like so. And then up to, of course, the ninth fret for your E. And then all together, nice and slow, it sounds like this. Now there's more, but that's I mean that's enough to uh, to get you started if you haven't been uh, looking at this for a while.